I wanted to learn how to play the clarinet, but just thought it was way too hard. My name is Leah, and I'm going to get you started by learning how to assemble and disassemble your clarinet with these five steps. First, make sure your case is the right side up. You will need to have a certain way to open because open your case because your pieces may fall down if not open correctly. This will affect your sound. The first piece is a mouthpiece, which is going to need a ligature to connect to your reed to your mouthpiece. This is a barrel, um, an upper joint, a lower joint, and a valve. These are the pieces you're going to need to assemble your plan. Second, I'm going to show you how to put on your reed. Like I said earlier, you're going to need a reed, a ligature, a reed, a ligature, and a mouthpiece. First, you're going to take your reed out of your case. Next, you're going to need to put it on your, your reed in your mouth to get it a little point. Then you will need to apply it onto your mouthpiece. You need to be careful because your reeds are very delicate and are expensive. You might break a few reeds, but that's okay. After a while, you will no longer break your reeds because you will get used to it. Your reed needs to be about a strand of hair um, from the top. Next, you need to apply your ligature to make make sure when putting on your ligature, be careful not to break your reed. Next, put next put on next tighten your ligature to make sure it is not too tight because your reed needs to vibrate in place to make sounds. So it looks like this for your first step. Third of all, you're going to need all of your pieces, including your mouthpiece, which it has your ligature and read on it, barrel, lower joint, and upper joint, and your valve. In addition, you need to apply your cork grease. <laughs> on your cork, on your cork. Cork grease is a substance that makes putting on your clarinet together easier. So you just put it around the board. Your fourth step is to connect your mouthpiece to your barrel. And then your barrel to connect your mouthpiece to your barrel. And then your barrel to the upper joint. If still difficult, you can put add some more cork grease on. Um, the next step is to add the lower joint with the upper joint. Be careful with this because if you press on the keys too hard, it will bend. These keys are tone holes. If you press the middle key, the mi middle finger uh, tone hole, it will move this key right here on the side, which will make putting your lower joint on easier. Make sure that the little side keys over here are connected so that um, you can play correctly. And then, last but not least, you need to add on your bow. Slide it in, and now you have your clarinet. To disassemble, you need to do the steps backwards, although you need to swab out your clarinet with this long, long like object. Clean out your clarinet. You have to take off your mouthpiece, though. To clean out your clarinet, put your weight that is at the end of your swab. that has the string through the clarinet. Make sure you have your reed off and ligature and mouthpiece. While swabbing out, you do not need to use your cork grease on your cork. Then take apart your upper joint, lower joint, and your barrel and bell. Lastly, put your, your clarinet carefully to your case. I hope these five steps were nice and easy to learn and understand. To sum things up, Take a reed, put it on your mouthpiece with your ligature, um, tighten it, make sure, not, make sure it's not too tight. Next is to connect
Awesome. Give it up. Good job.